Welcome back to Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Last time, we took a look at Bowser. Yep, that sure is Bowser, all right. Yep. And we just did it again, so until next time, everyone. Um, no, last time we actually opened up Bowser's lair and finished up the... whatever the lava world was called. Magma bog. Sure, right. let's go with that. Which means we can now properly enter Bowser's lair. Man, I know I said this last time, but I'm getting some... It was a 3D world vibes. <clears throat> probably or, probably where he, purposefully. Where you just had that... It was just like real dark, but it was also lit up. Kind of... Amusement park-like. Oh. I should oh, probably right. change that back real oh, quick. Yeah. I was experimenting. So, Missile Meg Mayhem. Three stars. A little surprising for Bowser to give us a three star. We're going down. <laughs> Look, Mom is here. Yes. I can't you just hit them once and they're like, nope, that's it for me. I got a coin. Guess we want to go in here? I guess. It's just a random pipe out of nowhere. Oh, this is progress, though. Can we go back? Yeah, we can go back. So anything of value further this way? Well, nope. that was my bad. Let me try it again. Yeah, I'm guessing we're gonna have to... Now we just write it back. Okay, easy. That was our second coin, wasn't it? I think so. Cooking through this one. I should have hit that. Crap! Well. I don't know why I saw that cloud guy and went, oh, a Lakitu cloud. Obviously, this will work out for every endeavor. I, I want that. Can you missiles? Leave it alone. Dang it. Glad we both did that. Yeah, that worked out nicely. Thank heavens. Yeah. Now. This is weird. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> yeah, we lost him. Man, these guys are just having a good time. Just making a rainbow. Telling everyone it's Pride Month and now it's Rat Month. Just having... Just having like an air show. Oh, it's Bowser's Castle. Yeah. Uh, can you guys do that again? What? I'll be back in a second. Yeah. 
Dang it. Why are you jumping off? Because you fell off. Why do you care? Because <laughs> you're my body and I don't want to leave you. I appreciate it, but you can just keep moving. <laughs> As long as you're on screen, I can always just ghost up to you. Oh. Yep. Saw that coming. Hey. I don't think we got the third coin in there. We did. Did we? I'm pretty sure. We can double check. Beautiful. Oh, yay. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that was quite nice. Is that supposed to be menacing? Because we kind of just ran through the stage. You should be worried. Ooh, a light show. I didn't like the way you rumbled on that one. That was kind of... Yep. Okay, we did. I kind of lose track after the third one. Goombas. Yeah, just got off playing Mass Attack not long ago, so like my my metal senses tingled. Oh, they go. What? Turns out, bubbles take care of electricity. Oh, look, he's on electric. It is electric. Ooh! Glad that worked out somehow. First one. Okay, I did that by accident. So I'm just awesome. Am I a speedrunner now? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't... I saw that up there. I didn't think to actually try to go up there. Well, see, if you, if you have to replay it, but as I was jumping, I was going to twirl up there, but I had left my bubble. And you're just gonna like be there. <laughs> yeah, let's actually watch it for a second and try to time it. I am timing it. You're the one who's just taking your time. I mean, you say that, but that first time down, it went off, like, while you were in the middle of it. No, it didn't. I never died. The only time I came back up was because I kept hitting the bottom. And the game was like, but you're not correct. I know how to deal with electricity. It is my element. <laughs> then what's Naka's element? His element's being a bitch! <laughs> Hey, somebody's gotta be. The pipe. Pipe. The coins. That is true. We should get coins. Should we? Whoa. Where am I going? No clue. So, do we want to go in the pipe or back go this pipe. way? Like, what's back this way? I think that's progress. No. Oh, okay. I can go back. I do so enjoy when they actually let us go back. It is very nice, yes. Oh, 
No more metal. Heck yeah. Eat it. Oh, and because we get electrocuted, we become magnetized. Oh, uh, playing the the metal Mario. Playing the metal music. Mario music. Oh, I forgot about that. I was like, yes. I feel like somebody's gonna like this. Okay, we can't get a point. Yeah, but we've got the point. I'm so shiny. <laughs> Excuse me. Did she come down? I like how we can't jump, like, at all. Oh, we're made of metal. Yeah. If I jumped there, I get zapped. Oh. Yeah, please don't. Please don't. That's kind of a jerk move. Oh no, fire does not beat electricity. I mean, that's always how it's been. Well, there's just gonna be one coin left there just to make a mockery of us. That's okay, as soon as we leave, I've already forgotten about it, and if we come back, it'll, re it'll all respawn, so it's only semi-permanent anyway. Aren't we all semi-permanent? Don't you give me your metaphysical right. Listen, I watched a video some time back where... Uh, I can't remember the guy's name correctly, I think it's Dakar. Where he's the, he's the guy who came up with the I think, therefore I am. Oh, if no. I am thinking of the correct person. Mm -hmm. And, like, that was just basically his way of, like, wait a minute, I think, therefore I just exist. I think, therefore I am. And then every philosopher after that was like, yes, but... <laughs> it was like, guys, he already hit the answer on the head. You don't have to go into, like, the everything else about it. But that's, like, where you get the stuff like Last Thursdayism, mm. if you remember that. Like, I'm, I may, not by name, but I may remember it if you... It's the idea that, I think it's more of a joke philosophy than an actual philosophy, but it's the idea that all of reality started existing last Thursday. Oh, yeah. And everything what... else we realize is just made up for some reason. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, as far as memories go and whatnot, what if the universe was created five minutes ago? Yeah. And... But it was created with you, with memories of that time before then. Yeah. Even though that time didn't exist, you were created with with those memories. And, like, it's just... It's one of those philosophical things of, like... I mean, you can't disprove it. I think there has been one thing that I think explains philosophy the best. And I, I don't know if it was an actual story that happened or if it was a just a joke thing to make a mockery of it, but it's one of those times when they're holding a forum with the philosophers, mm -hmm. and they're all philosophizing about how much how many teeth are in a horse's mouth, mm. and then somebody asks, well, why don't we go get a horse and find out? And then they all go like, that's not how this works. And they're just basically talking about how philosophy is more of the thinking, not the actual actualization of the whole thing. Yeah, I'm actually feeling like... Because you can jump on these guys, but I feel like being able to walk up next to them and just whack them. They're immune to fire, so fire's not helping. I wonder if you could bubble. You probably could. Uh-huh. Alright, now don't hit this flower. Okay, don't hit this flower. Crap. Well, they're being produced. No, this are they? I thought there was only so many of them. Oh no, this is a factory we're technically at. <laughs> I mean, I figured once it once they did like one rotation around the thing. Oh, we got flat. We got stars. Let's okay. Go. 
gonna not, be honest. Never long enough. <clears throat> gonna be honest with you, game. Cowardice way of uh, dealing with this. We get we get star power as elephants, and we can't flip. I'm an elephant, man. Let me flip. Later. Yeah, but where did that other one go? Shot me in the butt. Oh, there's platforms. Yeah, you couldn't see it because the camera was just up too high. Just like a pixel, just enough to let me see the line and me go, that looks like pain. Oh, I was going to ask you too, I was, that, the whole philosophy thing that you talked about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, big boys. I think I was discussing this with a pet the other day, talking about the, the deeper meanings. Did they ever, like, for Ghost in the Shell, did they ever go over the idea of, like, immortality with the things? Hmm. Hey, can I like, get one of you guys to help out? After a certain point, it feels like you could just become immortal, right? As a cyborg? Like, effectively, I think. Like, the eventuality is, as Pet pointed out, that the whole, um, your brain is still living matter. And that eventually that's going to be a problem. Actually, but. they're not. They are machine brains. That's why you can just upload your brain into a different body. Well, no. Like, your brain... Isn't your brain still like... Oh, do we want to go down there? I don't... I think we want to go down there. Let me try going down there. Let me go first. Oh, okay. You go first. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> now, that looks like... No, nope. No, you're not dying. Yep, I'm not dying. Um... Uh, yeah, because there's a lot of other philosophical stuff the series covers. Mm -hmm. Like the idea of, like, are you the real you and mm -hmm. blah, 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 and stuff like that. I was just curious, like, could you become a mortal? <laughs> could you become a mortal at some point, essentially? Where you had the possibility of immortality? I don't know if it was ever directly addressed, but I feel like some of the things that it did were tangentially related to it. It just comes off as kind of a... Because you got a lot of, like... Because, like, the idea is that like, you're effectively immortal as long as you can keep up all the, uh... Maintenance and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they at least dealt with it, maybe not directly, but tangentially. And I say that because wasn't there that scene where is it the Latin oh no man? oh no oh no I'm just gone. It's like the laughing man's thing with no um th there wasn't there a scene in the first Ghost in the Shell movie where oh, I've never watched the movie I'm oh. sorry um I think there was a scene where Makoto shot by that soon. It's <laughs> it's gonna here. Oh, I blew up a bro uh, block, but anyway. Now, there was a scene where Makoto went swimming, like in the ocean, oh, diving. Oh, I at least swimming. remember the scene you're talking about. And a lot of, I think a lot of the idea was that, like, it was something about it being very dangerous because she can't really swim, she just sinks. So it's very likely that she could die, and being on that, like, edge of death was meaningful. And then... Re Isn't the irony is that she actually has a swimming hobby? And then there's... I think there's something else about, like, when she actually... Like, in what's it, either release or inflate the ballast or whatever it is. I don't remember. But it, it's when she does the thing to raise up. Oh, yeah. No, I get what you're talking about. And it's when she does that, it's the feeling of the change in pressure washing over and everything makes her feel very... Alive? Yeah, I guess. That or transitional, like she's maybe changing to something. I just remember that specifically, and I feel like it, it's at least tangential to the idea of immortality. But I don't know if it was ever dealt with 
to my knowledge, it was not dealt with directly. But I know a lot of what it deals with philosophically is done in a very philosophical, indirect way anyway. So, who knows? Yeah, because it always felt like it was one of those. Because they never got to it. They got more of, like, the... I think the the more like do I exist because technically I am a copy of my brain, original brain put into a casing mm -hmm. and blah 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 stuff like that. Soma talks about that a bit too. If you ever remember that old mm -hmm. game? Uh, but it's just one of those like. So could they be immortal? Essentially, because it feels like at some point you would hit immortality. Because like they can st they can still have kids somehow. Dangerous. Crap, 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 crap. Yeah, and again, I don't know if it was ever dealt with. Oh, you have to jump too. It's one of those you have to keep jumping to press it off. Uh, if you just butt slam it goes faster. I I don't know if they ever did. It might be one of those things where it's like just never thought of because it doesn't match with the time period they have. Because like how do you explore immortality with the section nine people while they're still alive? Mm -hmm. Even though I guess at some point technically Makoto's been killed, but I'm talking like I guess the idea of more of Crap! the Like, could somebody be a mortal? Yeah, and again, I don't know if it was ever dealt with directly. Um, but I think the... Ooh, I think by the very nature of... Um, and especially the way they handle philosophy... Um, is in a somewhat indirect way. They don't just bring up the question and go, but what is this? But what it, is immortality to a cyborg? Yeah, it has more to do with the, like, the events they deal with and the motivations of the people. Um, so I feel like the, it may have been brought up, but not likely it was brought up directly. Yeah. I think, I guess looking at what Makoto had, her idea might have been more of the fact that since she's technically a cyborg, or like an android at this point, she has like no sense of, I guess, the thrill of life or death. Hmm. We can go back here. Yeah, I'm, I was going to get it from this. Okay, try I got it. Here. Okay, we've got two of them, but we've not seen. Oh. I try to only ever get one of those power ups when they come. Yeah, now it happens sometimes. It's just, it's just the way it is. music again. Yup. Oh boy. Okay, I think we have to actually Yeah, we have to keep moving, but... <laughs> I know you're just playing, having fun playing music. That's not my problem. Drop him. Oh, you can see them in the background. Hmm. They got oh! little dance screens. Why 
the pipe? Oh, 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 coins. I thought they were like potaboos or something. I feel like I should be playing to the beat, instead I'm mostly just trying to almost zone out the music. I know there was a fanfare, but there's also a lot of fists. I wanted to stay for the fanfare, but I also... Yeah, there was also the, uh, the, the goop was rising, so... Okay, we did get the third one. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. I remember. Wonderful. I think I tried to go for the bullet bill, and you hit the front while I was going for the back, and it disappeared them all, so I just hit the bottom <laughs> of the flagpole, and I was like, well, this is where I'm at now. <laughs> Yippee! I like the pose that they both struck at the very start of the Wonder Seed thing. I should have stayed on that longer. You did. I started hopping around because I wasn't sure if I was supposed to be doing something. When we got all the wonder seeds. Heck so, yeah. So here's 100 coins. It's not starred yet, but I guess we're technically not done. No, we're not. Impressive. Like Can you, like, decide on a scope? No. We're out of the multiverse. Don't you start, Bowser. <laughs> but that's the final level stage. I mean, I guess it, at least he's kind of settled on a... A name. A prefix. A modifier. Is it an adjective? I think? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not doing that right now. Because then, like, the, the thing with, like, adverbs is, like, they're basically... Yeah, like, an adverb take... is a modifier of a verb, so an adjective is, would be a modifier of a noun. Yeah, but, like, most adverbs are something to have L-Y at the end of it. Well, just thinking about what it is that you're modifying, a verb would be something like run. So you're going to run quickly? There's a verb and an adverb. Um, so you run and leap quickly. But the wonder is a noun. It's a thing. Yeah, no, I know that. So an ad something modifying that would be an adjective. Anyway, I'm going to say until next time, everyone. Uh, I'm not going to do that right away. Instead, I'm going to spend a number of our 845 coins and then tackle that one uh, fancy stage. So if I said she boobily breasted down the steps, would that make sense, or would you just be like, that's the meme that everyone did? Um, 